In the world of Zootopia, humans never happened, which makes Zootopia a modern, civilized world that is entirely animal. That is an animal. Animals in Zootopia are anthropomorphic. That is just a big fancy word that means they walk around on two feet. They do not go to work nude. Thank you. Almost. That's got it. And they use technology. Okay, there are mammals from all over the globe in Zootopia. Large and small, fast and slow. But the truth is, Zootopia isn't perfect. And just like our world, not everyone gets along. Especially natural enemies. Which can create some issues. But nature always gives animals special skills to survive. And while one may have amazing night vision, another may have incredible hearing and an air-powered elephant tranquilizer. So now you know, Zootopia, like nothing you've seen before. Well, that looks way better than I thought it would. Uh, I'm not quite sure if that's because it actually looks good or because my expectations for Zootopia were so incredibly low, but still, score one for Disney Animation, or should I say, yet another one for Disney Animation. And I think it's really uh, very interesting and a lot of fun to watch this competition that's developed between Disney Animation and Pixar, which of course are part of the same company. Uh, but of course they have a friendly competition going on to be the premier animation studio at the Disney uh, overall studio, which of course uh, made animation what it is today. So it's a, it's a real feather in one's cap to be the crown jewel of Disney, uh, the Disney studio in terms of animation properties. You have to be so specific with Disney, Disney these days because they have so many marquee brands. Uh, but anyway, the reason that I bring Pixar up is because we uh, had a very similar trailer just debut last week or so for The Good Dinosaur, which was kind of the same setup, right? Something happens and humans uh, are either displaced uh, in terms of the food chain or, or they just don't exist. Uh, and the earth is a, a different sort of place. And I think many of us kind of uh, thought that this would be what the good dinosaur was, right? Uh, that the, the meteor missing Earth would have some serious repercussions, uh, whereas in the actual teaser trailer that does not seem to be the case, uh, beyond, I guess, uh, you know, putting man one step below dinosaurs. But here, uh, you have this whole animal society that they're building, and uh, Disney has just uh, started up the old publicity machine for Zootopia in the past day or so, and they're talking about creating a whole, like a lot, a lot of world building basically, basically for Zootopia to the point that they would love to see like a theme park uh, attractions based on the movie. It's kind of like an animal version of Toontown, uh, and there are, uh, there well there was a Toontown in Disney World, they got rid of it uh, for the new Fantasyland expansion, but there's still a Toontown uh, in Disneyland in Los Angeles. Uh, but anyway, I love the character design. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, I particularly love uh, Jason Bateman's fox. I think he looks great. I believe his character's name is Nick. And then Judy the bunny also looks adorable. I wish we could have heard her voice, uh, but probably on the next one. Uh, but I think having Jason Bateman narrate this works very well. Uh, he, this is like his wheelhouse, this type of character, so it's a fun twist on it to have like a typical Jason Bateman movie, only animated. Although typical Jason Bateman movies don't always do so well, but Identity Thief did uh, when Melissa McCarthy joined the show, so maybe animation will be, you know, this movie's version of a big star. Right? Uh, but I think that the character design is fantastic. I think this is a great time for this uh, adorable fox character. Uh, he's kind of like the animal version of Flynn Rider from Tangled, who of course was very popular. And then also, I see some Rocket Raccoon kind of vibes coming from him, which is awesome. Uh, as for the bunny, I like the bunny Judy, Judy Hops. Uh, she looks cool. Uh, I didn't like the joke at the end with the elephant uh, tranquilizer dart. I was like, wow, you guys had nowhere to go with this, huh? Too bad. Oh, well. Uh, the rest of the trailer is very good, though, so we'll let that slide. 
mind. Uh, but I, I love bunnies, actually, in real life. I think bunnies are adorable, and they seem to have captured the adorableness of bunnies in this animated character. The last thing I want to say, though, uh, is that I'm really surprised that they wouldn't give any kind of shout-out to Richard Scarry here whatsoever. Maybe they will in the actual film. Maybe they don't want to pay his estate. But Richard Scarry really paved the way for this story, and he's the one, you know, these uh, anthropomorphized, that big fancy word for walking around on two feet. I loved when he zipped his fly. I thought that was great. That was like the perfect, um, like, uh, uh, all ages appropriate adult humor that you can mix in there and get away with. Uh, but Richard Scarry uh, got his start with Golden Books, little Golden Books, back like in the um, 1949, I believe. But he had this uh, series of books uh, called Richard Scare, you know, they, they were uh, eponymous, uh, another big word for you there. Uh, and he, they're, they're still popular today, but they really excelled in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. I think even in the 80s. Uh, they, so decades of popularity. Uh, and he has uh, these whole cities uh, full of animals that live together, and they are very beautifully illustrated. Actually, they have a warmth to them similar to what we're seeing here. Although I didn't like the goat. The goat doesn't have the warmth, uh, and you can see the goat character is less appealing. I didn't like that joke either with him eating the tranquilizer dart. At the end, this thing really fell off in terms of quality, but again, I like the beginning so much, I'm willing to overlook it for now. Uh, but Richard Scarry, uh, you know, pioneered this. He was the first really on the map in, in a big way with uh, Animal Cities. And so I think it seems a little bit not cool to, you know, I mean, I think the name recognition would be fantastic. But then, of course, Disney doesn't really do that. They like uh, things that are in uh, public domain. It's DreamWorks Animation and, uh, and, so, uh, and other animation studios like to acquire other works uh, and, and still give them some credit instead of it only coming from, like, within the house of mouse. Uh, there are, of course, exceptions to everything, but that's generally the Disney game plan. But again, I like this a lot. It looks like a surprisingly strong contender, and I think 2016 could be a very good year uh, for Disney animation with both this and Moana, and all the other animation studios better look out because it seems that the one that started it all continues to be uh, a major player after having uh, recently uh, done some in-house cleaning. But it seems like Disney Animation isn't going anywhere is the, is the short of it. So what do you think of this trailer? Does it uh, exceed your expectations and why? Why do you think that it does? What do you think of the two characters? And are you familiar with Richard Scarry's work? All right, thank you so much for tuning into my review. And you can check out some other episodes right now. 